I guess, uh, go ahead and talk about your competition out there uh, at corner for a starting spot. Well, to Charvin Bell, I think everybody knows he'll be having surgery tomorrow. So what we're trying to do is we're just rotating them right now. And uh, Coach Chisholm and us talked about it. And what we're trying to do is just rotate, get as many reps as we can this week because, you know, we've got to have several ready to play. You know, and of course that rearranges the nickel and dime situation and stirs things up again. So we're just rotating them around, trying to get the best combinations right now. And uh, we'll know probably tomorrow we'll be starting. You played one guy or play a couple guys there at that spot, you think, Philip? Yes, and you know, it's according to how much nickel and dime you play again because you got Jermaine Whitehead to configure into this also. You know, so it's, uh, you know, uh, you got to consider all of that because he's been playing a good bit this year. You got Mincy. Of course, you got Ryan White that had started a lot during the first of the year. And with Suth and Sang support, you know, an injury also. And then you still got Jonathan Rose in the mix. So, you know, uh, right now we're trying to see how many reps we're going to need in the next two to three ball games uh, with nickel and dime. And, and we, we're taking that into consideration. So we're just repping them a lot the last two or three days. And we're going to sit down tonight, and then we'll look at practice tomorrow, and we'll decide you know, who will play there. Was uh, last week the first time you guys did any dime in the game, or was there some earlier in the season? No, no. Uh, we, we've did some, especially in third down situations. That's been a big package for us. You know, go ahead and press up and play a lot of man. And, and you know, we've been able to play a couple of zones with it also. Uh, last week during the game, of course, Georgia, when we got in dime, was checking to a lot of run, you know, and uh, second, third down, and trying to counter it that way. And uh, with their big offensive linemen, you know, against our skill at that point. Uh, we was trying to get off the field. We struggling getting off the field on third down, you know, and so we wanted to try to man them up a little bit more in that situation, and they counted with a run and, you know, and, um, you know, hit us with some big plays. But, uh, no, we'd run it some earlier. How's T. Bell handling the injury? I know he uh, loves to play <clears throat> football. Loves to play, and he's tore up about it. Tore up about it. And, uh, you know, uh, they gave him the news the other night during the ball game, and he was quite upset, you know, and uh, uh, rightfully so. And uh, right now, you know, we got to, you know, stay with the book, stay with the studies, and, uh, you know, and then he's got to rehab. So, we, you know, and that's uh, what we've talked about. And, and he, he's a competitor. He'll fight back. And, you know, we went through it several times here before with the David Irons and a lot of, you know, and, and I have gave him a lot of those examples of guys that's come back and had a heck of a career here. So uh, Aaron Savage come back two or three times. So and T. Bell's a fighter. He'll come back. Coach against Georgia, the, the back shoulder throws, they hit a number of, I'm sure you heard a number of, number of big passes. When you saw it on film, did you feel like that was intentional on their part or, or the guys just not adjusting? A couple of them were. A couple of them, he made really good throws. I mean, he made throws that, you know, you talk to the pro guys, they have, <laughs> and which I have. I've talked to a lot of my guys that's played here, and, you know, and that's a tough throw. I mean, uh, here's the deal, you know, if you think a guy's a little faster and bigger than you, you fight like heck to get over the top of him and you want to look for the ball alert and you want to wedge and lean the guys, you know, and, and two or three times the guys had perfect position on them, you know, and wedging and leaning and of course the underthrown ball and they come back and adjust and make a big play. And, uh, you know, but they were fast enough that we were scared to play through it because they'd run by everybody they played this year. I mean, the guy had 20 something touchdown passes. You know, and you look up, the receivers are running by people. So what we want to do is get in a position to lean early. We wanted to get in a position where we could get the big throw, you know, and try not to give up one over the top. And when you do that, and the ball is on the throne, and a couple of them wasn't like back shoulder throws. They were under thrown, you know, behind. And where these guys, when we had led wedging and leaning, they was able to come back and just make a big play. In fact, the first one they had, I think, or excuse me, the second one they had on T-Bell on their sidelines, the guy reaches all the way back and catches it, you know, and uh, that's tough. That's tough, you know, and uh, – we talk about those things and we coach those things, but it's it's really tough to play that that throw.